Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Wow, it's been a little while since I have sat down and filmed a video. Um, I tried to do it last week and filming my empties and I just couldn't do it. I tried like three different times. So that's why I went ahead and put up the little uh, clip video. Kind of let you know where I was at, what was going on just so that you kind of know and didn't think I had fallen off the face of the earth because I'm here. Um, definitely feeling <clears throat> a whole lot better. Of course, when I get ready to start talking, I'm going to get a frog. But I have something to drink. So anyway, um, yes, if you didn't see that video, um, I have been sick. My husband's been sick. My whole family's been sick. The grandbabies, the daughter, everybody. And um, plus we sold our house. So we have been trying to move, um, but unfortunately the house that we're moving in was being remodeled and it's not completed. So we are kind of helter skelter right now. Like I'm sitting in my, um, I don't know what you would call it, the little breakfast nook of the kitchen, I guess, uh, because my makeup room was supposed to have been completed last week, meaning um, that today's Sunday, uh, meaning on, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Well, then the guy, his, hus his husband, no, his wife got sick. And then on Friday, we woke up to at least a foot of snow, so he wasn't able to make it here. And so I was hoping to have my room all set up and be in my room filming, but I just can't put these videos off any longer. I have so many videos that I want to get done that were kind of time sensitive for the beginning of the year. So I'm going to start with this one, which is my December 2016 empties, and um, then kind of give you a little bit of a rundown at the end on how many products I used up for the entire year, and then the dollar amount, um, which is staggering. So you definitely want to stay to the end to find out what the total amount was that I used up for the whole entire year, because I do keep track. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you my little notebook here. You're not going to be able to see it because it's white on white. But I keep track of everything each month, what I use, the dollar amount. And I also wanted to kind of touch on a little bit on the little deluxe samples or even just sample sizes. I do assign them a um, dollar value. Um, and you would be surprised if you do this how much your little samples, especially the deluxe size samples, these could be anywhere from five to ten dollars as far as a value. But anyway, so with further ado, let's get started on these empties and hopefully I can get this done and everything looks good. I know the lighting's not perfect. I am looking in the viewfinder and I look like I might be a little bit um orange maybe, and I have I have have a feeling that has to do with my kitchen because whenever we get the kitchen done, we don't have countertops right now, so I'm not going to show you yet until I get my countertops. But my kitchen is bright, bright yellow, and the walls are gray, and then the trim is white. And we went with a very retro, retro feel vibe in the kitchen, and it's going to be so awesome when I get it all decorated and done. I can't wait, can't wait to show you. But at last, we got to wait. Hopefully a couple more weeks and I can start getting my stuff unpacked and decorate it and can't wait. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get started. Oh geez. I have two makeup removal wipes. I've, I have talked about these all year long. Um, I get them from Big Lots. They're the Apple brand. They're $2.50 each. I love them and I don't use makeup wipes. I know I've, I've said this time and time again to take my makeup off. I use them to spot clean my brushes. But I like those for that. I think they work very well for that. Then I have some cotton rounds. These are the Up and Up brand from Target. Um, these will not be a repurchase. These were just the basic cotton rounds. I thought they were the exfoliating ones. Those are the ones I like the best. Um, so I won't be repurchasing these. I think I have another packet of these because I bought them in like a three pack. So when those are gone, I'll be getting the ones that I like. Then this guy, this is from Dr. Teal's. I got this at Walmart. It's the Ultra Moisturizing Mineral Soak, and it's with avocado oil. This was really, really good to put in the bath water, and it really, you could definitely tell that there was some moisture in there, and it just made your skin feel really good. I would definitely repurchase this. I recommend it. 
and you're not gonna be able to see it too well but anyway it's the one with the avocado oil and it says super moisturizer and it really did it did make the tub the water feel a little slippery but once it drained out of the tub your tub wasn't left with this a slippery residue so that was good for safety reasons but do, if you do get it just know that when you get in and out while the water's there it's going to be a little slippery just be careful then i had some um, bath salts these i got from a um oh what was that called craft fair in arkansas oh my nose running anyway these were the jasmine rose bath fizzies they were okay um obviously i'm not gonna be able to repurchase them because it was a, at a craft fair so but they were nice they smelled really good i like the rose scent i like rose so i was not opposed to the rose i liked it then i have a little small travel size of the kidra platinum finishing spray with maximum hold um it was okay this was a free gift valued at seven dollars it says that on the side I'm not one for hairspray a whole lot anyway but I do remember that it didn't make my hair feel crunchy or sticky so if that's something you're looking for in a hairspray you might give that a try <clears throat> and then from Sunday Riley I have a Luna oil this was the um, sleeping night oil this is okay. I don't really feel like it's as great as what everyone has made it out to be. Now the good jeans, I do like the good jeans. I like the good jeans a whole lot better than this, but I have a couple more of this size and then some deluxe sample sizes to use, but once those are gone, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I think there's, I think I like the Marula oil better than this, but anyway, did finish that. This little guy, now this I did like. This is the Herba, Herburian, 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 Yaza Double Lotion. This is like a biphase lotion. You had to shake it up and it's like a, an essence and a toner in one. And how I would use this is after I used my, after I cleansed my skin, use my clarifying lotion then i would put some of this into the palm of my hand warm it up and then just press it into the skin like i would an, an essence and i really did like this this may be something i would think about repurchasing at some point in time but anyway that was good and that came from um, sephora this right here and you're not gonna be able to see it because it's white on white but anyway this is the herbivore moon fruit super fruit night treatment and this was a deluxe sample um i didn't think this was that great it was like a purple color and i just didn't feel like it for being considered to be a night treatment it didn't really prove to be moisturizing enough for my skin and um, it could be something maybe geared toward maybe um combo or oily skin but anyway i'm glad i got to try the sample size of it but i wouldn't purchase it this is a eyeliner from mark jacobs this is you know that little eyeliner that was in the um the birthday gift that sephora did and i really i really do like this i have another one and this is what i've been using on my waterline um I really do like it so at some point in time I would definitely purchase the big size but I have a, another small one that I'm working on then this this is from Mac this is my favorite eyebrow pencil this is the um, color lingering it's just called eyebrows crayon it is one of those that you click up it is a small size kind of like the um, Anastasia um, brow whiz I liked it. I liked the formula of it. I liked the color of it. I would definitely repurchase. Alrighty. Now, I have a perfume. This is my Skin Musk Oil. I go through a little bottle of this probably every year. It takes about a year for me to use up a bottle of this because I just use it at night. I get it at Walgreens. Um, depending on if you can get it on sale or not, it can be anywhere from um, $10 to $15. But this is a really really good musk oil if you like musk and you like a perfume oil definitely give that a try 
Then from Laura Mercier, I have a Flawless Skin Hydration Moisture Eye, eye Cream. And it was okay. It, it just wasn't enough moisturization for under my eyes. I have super, super, super dry under eyes. And I need something that's like really thick and creamy and just packed full of uh, moisture. And, and this just wasn't enough for me. <clears throat> have this little guy. This is a eyebrow little razor. Um, this is the brand that I ordered off of Amazon. And it's called um, Tinkle. And um, I ordered like a whole pack of them. And I use these. I don't use them for my brows. I use them to defuzz my face. So really good. I do like those. Then for Laura Mercier, I have a bronze and brighten in the color fair and I, re I really did like this I liked it because it had some pink in it which my skin when I naturally get out in the sun and get any kind of sun on my face um, it does turn pink before it turns tan so this was very natural looking for my skin we definitely think about getting another one of those but Lord help me I have too many bronzers right now don't need any more then another product from more Geller, and this is the Balance and Brighten Foundation Powder in Regular. And um, did finish that up. Um, I do like this, but the regular is just a little bit too dark for me. Um, it worked fine if I had a foundation that was too light and I needed to darken that foundation up a little bit. Um, I wouldn't, I would repurchase, but just not in this color. Fair is a better color match for me. But I do have some more of those that I'm going to be working through this year. Okay, some mask. I have the Shiseido Benefits Wrinkle Resist um, Eye Soothing Mask. And I really did like these. I, I'm very, very picky with eye masks. And I usually don't find any that I like. But I did like these. This was good. This was in a little... I think it was in one of those kits at Christmas from Sephora. But I did like that. It was good. Then from the Alicia Koi, I have the um, Natural Pearl Brightening and Glowing Effects Mask. And this was a good mask um, from the Alicia Koi line. Um, very good, very moisturizing, it fit really good. It was a nice essence. I um, can't remember, was it a creamy essence? No, it was a clear, just a clear essence on that. But those were good. This one I really did like. This is another Alicia Koi. Um, brand is the Snail Hydrogel Mask, and this one was really good. I liked it a lot. I have several of those, but those were very moisturizing. It was a, a two-piece, and it was like the gel-type mask as opposed to a sheet mask. These were really good. And then from um, then from Crema Lab, um, these I just got. This is the Golden Peptide Lifting Mask. Um, this I got from um, Peach and Lily, which was a website, Peach and Lily. I did like those. Those were really good. And then the 7 Days Lemon Mask. Again, this is a really good one. This is from the A-R-I-U-L company. Really good. This one I really enjoyed too. And this is the Dream Age Radiance Facial Mask, the Rose by Dr. Dream. These are really good. I liked all of these. Um, this is the Mizon Enjoy Vital Uptime Whitening Mask. And yes, this was another good one. There's another one of those Cremo Lab ones. And then this one. This one from Peach and Lily is called the Chubby Cheeks Lift and Plump. Um, it's supposed to give you your cheeks like you were when you were young and you know your face was all plump and moist and just really pretty. But this is why they call it chubby cheeks. Did like that. Those sell out really, really fast too on that website. And then this right here is what is this one? Who's this by? I don't know. But anyway, it was an oatmeal one. I'm trying to see what the brand is, but it was these. Um I guess because it was being it was oatmeal, I was really expecting more moisture than what these were. So they weren't as moisturizing as what I thought they were going to be. 
anyway they were they were kind of nice but I'm trying to see JLC International is that what brand those are <clears throat> but they are a Korea a Korean mask I think all of those were Korean masks anyway so that is it for my empties wow it's a lot so let's talk about the totals I did keep track like I said earlier in the video of how much I used um, full-size products my total full-size I used 285 full-size products for the whole year of 2016 and sample sizes and sample sizes included the little foil packs and the deluxe size samples um, had 365 of those that I used so the total dollar amount that I used for the whole year of 2016 was drum roll is a lot it was $5,157 what wow wow um I will say throughout the year and I, I should have went back and counted I did use up a lot of perfumes this past year I really really worked on getting my perfume collection down which I've done really really well because I've been doing an inventory of all my stuff and I probably started like two years ago I probably had over 50 bottles of perfume and when I counted um, yesterday I'm down to 15 so that's that's pretty significant with perfume but anyway so yeah and I had a lot of high-end products that I had purchased and then used partially and then just wanted to finish them up this past year so that's why it really kind of bumped that that price up but anyway that is it I hope you have enjoyed um, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing another video I think the next one's going to be um, how the direction that my channel is going to be going for the year 2017 and then that way you can kind of understand future videos on the process of those future videos anyway we'll talk about that in a different video because this one I have talked long enough missed you guys so anyway thank you so much for watching I will talk to you in a couple of days on the next video and have a safe and happy week